right now in fixed income, I actually like floating rate assets. So I think the leverage loan market, so there's ETFs like DKLN, SRLN that you can invest in. I also like the closed end funds, a lot are trading at five to 6% okay, discount. And just for the uh, less, the so less informed closed end so fund, uh, people pull out money, what happens to the closed end fund? The discount to NAV increases, so they get cheaper. So right yeah. now, these were often at 10 to 12% discounts to NAV last January, February. They're down to about five or 6%. But because leveraged loans can be a very difficult product to buy individually, mm -hmm. these have often traded at a premium to NAV for that market access and good markets. So you've got a floating rate protection, you've got exposure to the high yield market, so you're getting a decent amount of income without that rate risk. I think those make a lot of sense. There's some alternatives out there that let you invest in CLOs, but I would stick to the leveraged loans through the ETFs. And then kind of translating what I'm seeing in the fixed income to other markets, I'm looking at XLF. I think I'd be selling out of XLF right and now. And just go, it's financial. Financials. Okay. And the big cap financials, because all of a sudden you have the Fed really putting March on the table, right? They've gone out of their way to put March. Right. And what you're seeing is the yield curves have been flattening. So the two-year point versus the 10-year has been flattening. And if you look, the correlation's not great. But bank stocks tend to move with that. So as it was flattening in 2014, 15, bank stocks were going down. Right. It was steepening last year in bank, and now for the last month you've had this divergence where bank stocks have, and you know the large cap XLF stocks have been rising. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been flattening. So I think it's time to take some chips off the table in the big cap banks. Okay.